Hey guys, what's going on? Jonathan Perez here from SurefireWebServices.com and today we're going to go over this awesome new plugin that I just discovered called CoSchedule. Now what the hell is CoSchedule, right? This is one of those plugins that I heard of a long time ago and I heard that people used it a long time ago, but I just never actually tried it myself. So last week I decided, you know what? Let me try this. I need to get a grip on my blog posts and uh, I need to organize everything. So let's see what this thing is. So I went to the website, coschedule.com, right? I saw their cool content. I was like, oh, this is pretty nifty. All right, uh, get started free. Getting started is super simple. Just click get started free, enter your name, your email address, your password, and then you're pretty much done. Now, one thing that I love about this is it's not really breaking the bank if you do decide to sign up. If you go to the pricing page, it's only 10 bucks a month. How freaking awesome is that? So for 10 bucks a month, you can't go wrong. It's something that I'm definitely going to buy, and I'm about to show you why. So let's, let's, let's do the old way, right? You go into Twitter. You go into your Buffer app. You go into whatever you use to manage your stuff. Maybe it's TweetDeck. Let me see if I even have a little TweetDeck here. Apps. Yeah, you guys know what TweetDeck looks like. If you don't, it's just a bunch of columns that shows your uh, your accounts and whatever you want, basically. So that's like its own thing. Like that's your social stuff. So in addition to that, you have to write a blog post. Now, when you have to write a blog post, you log into WordPress, you create a blog post, you get the title, you get the content, whatever it is, and then you either schedule it or you click post this now. So after that's posted, then you start to go into all this Twitter, Facebook stuff, and you start to tweet it. But the problem is you're always tweeting live. Unless you're using something like the Buffer app where you can schedule the tweets, you're always just doing something. And my, the problem, the main problem, especially something that I was facing, was I don't have that kind of time. I love writing posts. I love writing my blog posts. But when I want to do something, I can't spend, you know, the hour or two hours writing a blog post, finding the images, then every once in a while stop what I'm doing to post something on Twitter or to post it on Facebook. And it just becomes really tiring and really cumbersome. So in comes co-schedule. Now once you sign up, you're going to get a cool, nifty, calendar and I'm going to show you my calendar right here. Here's my calendar, Surefire Web Services. As you can see, I've only had this thing for a few days, but I started putting a, a lot of stuff up just to just to see what the hell it does. Now, at first glance, it may look a little confusing, but I tell you, this is super easy. I haven't planned that far ahead, but I'm going to show you right now how awesome this is. Ready? So tomorrow, the 13th, I'm going to post a server press video. So I'm going to click this. I haven't done anything yet. This is live. This is actually going to happen. So by the time you see this, this post will be posted. And I'm going to create a new blog post. And I'm going to call it um, setting up a site in ServerPress. That's it. Okay, <laughs> we'll call it that. Obviously, the titles may need some help, but we're going to go there, and then we'll call it development. So, publish on 1.13, 10 p.m., blah, blah, blah. We could leave that for now. I am the author, and I'm going to keep it in draft status, right? So, you could actually color coordinate if you want to say, oh, all of my posts are going to be blue or whatever it is, but I'm not that far yet. So let's just start with the simple, start with the basics, and I'll show you why this is awesome. So I'm going to click add post. And now you can see that on the 13th, which is tomorrow, at 10 p.m., this post is pretty much set to go. Now, it's in draft mode, and it's not going to actually publish until I tell it to publish, but I have a calendar in front of me, and I'm ready to get this going. So if I click on that, you'll see edit the post in WordPress. So CoSchedule is actually a hosted solution, but it ties into your WordPress dashboard. So if I'm not in it within my WordPress dashboard, I could actually go to the CoSchedule website and log in and see the same cal calendar that I'm seeing here and do all of the same exact things, right? Let's stay on track though. So 
here's my post setting up a site in server press there's my avatar um, I don't have any social things set up yet I'm going to edit the post as soon as I click edit the post it's going to bring me to the draft that it just made because it does it automatically and let's just put something this whoops this is going to be the post for server press obviously I have to write it I could set my featured images do whatever I gotta do haven't scheduled it yet let's just save the draft now while it's saving you're gonna see this little box called co-schedule and the coolest thing here is I'm going to be able to handle all of my social media stuff within the app and I'm talking Facebook Twitter Google all that stuff now I'm very big on Twitter and I'm trying to grow my Facebook audience so I haven't done it yet so this is actually making it incredibly easy for me to do and all you have to do is click that click add message select the profiles that you want to add it to and you automatically have title and permalink there and look at this how freaking cool is this it, it shows you what is going to display not only that I've always had an issue with Facebook pulling the wrong stupid images, <laughs> right? So I can click this little camera over here, pick the image that I want, and then the image that I want will be directly within this box. So I can start posting everything on my Facebook and on my Twitter, and I could do it once. I could block my time out to do the post and all the social media and be done with it. Now you have these options. As soon as I post it, I can send it out to Twitter and Facebook and whatever else I set up. Same day as post, same time as post. So I don't have to do anything else. I click publish. Next thing you know, my blog article is up. Twitter has it over there. Facebook has it over there. I'm good to go. Watch how awesome this is now. Ready? Now I'm done. I'm setting up my schedule. I'm done. One hour after the post, I click, I click publish. I get the initial um, the initial tweets and Facebook, whatever you call them out. And now an hour after the post, I could promote it again or tweet it again or maybe change the title or something like that. As a matter of fact, I could do it one hour after the post, three hours, five hours. I could set a certain amount of time that I want or I can tell it to go out at 4 p.m. The thing is amazing and it's flexible and I can add as many as I want. If I just keep clicking new message and add message, this thing will go on forever. Now, what you can actually start to do is build up a campaign. So let's say I have this go into my two profiles over here. I can set one to go at the same time, three hours later. I can set the day after I post the tweet. I could do it the week after or the month after. So I could literally set up an entire timeline of tweets and Facebook posts for one article and just ha once I set it, it's done. Like, set it and forget it. You know what I mean? And I don't have to go constantly revisit back to this post and say, okay, share this today, share this today, share this today. It's, I forgot about it. I'm already done. So that to me alone is worth $10 a month. To save all of that interrupting time to just go onto the social media and do something is totally worth it. In addition to that, I haven't explored all of the details in this plugin. Like I said, that to me alone is worth $10 a month, but you can add tasks by clicking tasks, new task, assign it to somebody, um, whatever you want. Hey, do me a favor, do me a favor, look, look over this post and assign it to myself. Uh, a day before I put the post in. Boom. Now I added a task. I can add comments. This this post will kick ass. Add the comment. So now if I have a team of people and they're coming in here, they can see this post. Maybe someone just got assigned a task. They're going to see the comments on this. They'll know if they ever have to do anything. And if they want, they could just start posting stuff to the timeline too to promote this specific post. So that is the amazingness that is co-schedule and to me that is the selling point I don't have to go into Twitter I don't have to go into Facebook I don't have to 
go into buffer. I don't have to do anything. Everything is done right here in my dashboard. What you could also do is if you prefer the buffer app, because I also love the buffer app, um, this will sync to your buffer app. So all of these posts, instead of you saying one hour, two hours, three hours, whatever it is, you just tell them to go to your buffer app and whatever schedule you have preset, this will add all the tweets and the Facebooks and the whatever else you got set up. It'll put it into buffer so that you don't have to worry about it. So the big theme here is set it and forget it. You have your post content. You could do everything in one page and then you're good to go. Just to explore this a little more, I'm going to click on calendar. You could view, oh look at this, you could view the top posts just to see who's sharing what on your, from what you've uh, put out so far. I haven't done much, I guess it uh, reaches some old older posts that I've done. But you have your statistics here, how many times it was shared on Google+, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, all these things. So you have reports, you have the calendar, you have my activity to let you know what's been going on, what you've been doing. Click there, no notifications, my upcoming posts. So it's kind of like a brief, like a dashboard almost. These are my tasks. Do me a favor, look over this post. Okay, did it, done. Upcoming post, top post. This plugin is just so beyond amazing. And when I first tried it, it really blew my mind because it was so easy to set up and I mean look like I I've only been using it for a couple of days and really what I've been using it for is I put the post up and then I set up my tweets and my Facebook uh, postings and that's it and then I set the next post up and the next post and the next post and I just keep doing that so you know the next time I'm gonna log in here I'll probably have something for the 19th something for the 20th and this is done automatically I created this post today best page builder plugin for WordPress and I set up all the marketing for it so I have tweets that went out today I have some tweets and Facebook stuff going out tomorrow I have stuff going out next week and I actually if I can move forward have it going out next month <laughs> so I'm good to go with that post I don't have to promote it anymore and then I'll do the same thing when I get ready to launch the following post for the server press etc etc so this thing is really awesome um, I really want to say to look into it, check it out, coschedule.com. I was blown away when I first started using it and actually saw the potential of it. And you don't have to schedule a blog post. If you click here, you could even just schedule some social message or an event if something's coming up. So it's a very powerful plugin. Um, on the left side over here, you've got the different colors. So like I said, if you have different... Uh, teams or post topics that you assign a different color, you'll see everything with the orange color or with the purple color or whatever it is. Um, the status, so you could start filtering the calendar to whatever you want to view. Uh, events, tasks, notes, the authors, and the social profiles. So, co-schedule, holy crap, this thing is pretty awesome. It's incredibly powerful. You can add multiple blogs. If you have a team of people, it's really easy to just start scheduling things. And, you know, at first, because I went to this site and I was looking at this thing and I was like, okay, that looks kind of, that looks like it's getting a little busy. But once you actually start doing it and you start putting your um, information in, in place it makes it really 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 easy and one more cool thing if I decide that I don't want this to launch tomorrow I want it to launch the next day just click it and drag it and that's it now setting up a site in server press will launch tomorrow instead of the 13th and you're done and you have everything in uh, one view so your social stuff your blog posts all in one place all handled by the plugin you are good to go. Save that time, those little 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there. It's very easy to get distracted, especially once you hop on Twitter or Facebook. You may go on just to promote something. Next thing you know, you see someone's cool tweet, and now you're browsing the entire tweet wall, and 20 minutes passed by. So this is a great way to avoid all of those distractions. Market your posts. Even if you're selling something, you can set up a complete campaign, a social media campaign 
with this app. It is that awesome. It is that powerful. It is coschedule.com. I am not an affiliate. I hope to become one soon, but definitely check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. I think you're going to love it. Thanks a lot. I will see you next time.